play better, tough loss, make more shots. Be a little bit smarter at certain times in the situation in the game. But our guys competed every close, not close enough, but close. Tonight, we're down 17 in the, the second half. What allowed you to get back into the game and give yourself a chance? We started, I mean, we started pressing on. We started believing that we could play with them. I don't know, necessarily know it the first half, but we played with as much confidence as we did the second half. And uh, once we started speeding them up, forcing them into some turnovers and getting us up and down in the court and getting some easier baskets as opposed to just, just sitting in the, in the half court trying to execute. So we were able to make our run. Did you find it difficult to score against them in the half court? They're very long. And- um, they're, you know, they're eighth in the country of shot blocks, you know, so we just kept stressing when you get down to the basket, you're you're either going to need to finish, you're going to need a shot fake, or you're going to need to find the next open guy because we know they're all capable of going and blocking shots. And they made a couple shots. And you got it back to three, and then they made a couple shots at the end. I mean, is that what separates them from everybody else? Well, the one-second shot clock oh. separates you, Kyle. That's all. The one-second shot clock separated. That was a big, that was big, that was big, that was big. One second. It was a long, it was a long review. What were they looking at? Was there I don't think it was on that home. I know when I'm on the road, that would have been a shot clock violation. I just know that. Coach, uh, tonight, or today, you decided to start uh, instead of Altman instead of Mervyn James. Is that more to give Altman a, a chance or to give Mervyn James a no, break? No comment. Alan, what allowed you guys to get back into the game in the second half? Uh, like Coach just said, playing with confidence that we should have been playing with from the beginning, but we didn't. Um, yeah, that was the major thing, getting up in them, letting our defense lead the offense, getting stops, and scoring on the other end. Alan, how did you feel the matchups uh, went tonight uh, against Iona's uh, joiner, Barrick Jean Louis, and Walter Clayton came to play a lot tonight? How did you feel the matchups your, yourself against and, and the other guard for Ryder against Iona's guards? Like my matchup against them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I feel like I, I did okay. Just, um, it's a team sport. It's not even about the matchup. So everybody had to win their matchup at the end. Coach, what what do you think about uh, the matchups again with Nelly Jr. Joseph? Uh, it seemed like you had two men down low all the time, uh, looking, trying to get offensive rebounds. Uh, uh, how'd you, how did you approach uh, Nelly Jr. Joseph today? Keep him off the glass. Very good offensive rebounder. Very good defensive rebounder. He's, he's a rim protector. You got to get him out on the perimeter as much. You got to get him in ball screens as much. And you got to attack him. You got to go at him. You got to get any good shot blocker. You got to attack him and go into his body. You can't go away from him because if you do, you're, you're going to miss those shots. You, you got to be the aggressor and make Nelly have to force him to have to play defense. And I thought we did some good things. and. Again, if your shot gets blocked, so be it. Alan, you guys have you know, had some some very close losses. Um, again, today you're right in it. Do you still look at this league and, and say, you know, it, it really could go to, to anybody um, when you get to Atlantic City? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we were talking about it earlier. Um, we were five points away from going on eight game winning streak. So, like, we're not that far off. We just got to the little mistakes that we do at the end that make us lose the games. We got to fix those. Coach, when you played this team earlier in the season, uh, you were down big and you weren't really able to uh, claw your way back into the game. But today, you were down big again, but the team really dug in and, and fought really hard in the second half, and you were able to come back from three. Do you think there's been uh, some mental and emotional growth with this team? Yeah, I definitely think we got better. But again, we, 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 had, we, we just had a tough road swing early on, November, early December. We, we weren't ready then, mentally, physically. We were tired. You know, people want to continue to say we don't shoot the three well, but, you know, game to game, it just depends. But we struggled down there. We're a different team, man. This is a different team. This team can beat anybody, including Iona. We can beat anybody. It's going to come down to matchups. We obviously need to try and win these next two games coming up. We can beat anybody, and anybody can be beaten. In this league, I think you can see how log jamming it is. Obviously, I own is at the top, but the matchups when we get to Atlantic City, I like our chances just as much as anybody else.
that's something that makes this league fascinating. Is it's great. They, they that's can that's be like what that. you want. That's what you want. And, and I know Iona is playing well, and again, they're at the top of this league. But any given night in the MAC, being here 16 years, I know any team can win. And that's what's great about the MAC. And that's what will be great about this tournament coming up in two weeks. Good thing.